Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Kind Spirit Tech. Now we are going to deal with basic commands in LaTeX. So what is the idea? I want at the end of this episode for you to be uh, capable in uh, writing and styling your paragraphs in LaTeX. So on top of uh, this uh, basic construction, uh, so first line we have uh, this uh, document declaration, then we are going to set uh, our uh, input uh, encoding to UTF-8 and in here we have beginning and end document tag. Uh, all of content as I described in one of my previous episodes, uh, it's going to be in between these two tags. And now I'm going to write uh, two paragraphs for testing purposes. Now, if you want uh, to uh, separate uh, two paragraphs from one another, you are going to put uh, one line in between. So keep in mind, if we continue here, LaTeX is going to consider that continuation of previous one. So we are going to put one line in between and here I'm going to write second paragraph. Okay, and now I'm going to save this and to compile this. Let's see what we have. And you see we have our two paragraphs. Uh, now, let's say that we would like to have a bigger distance in between these two paragraphs, how to do so. Uh, in between uh, these uh, two lines, we are going to add uh, another command that is going to be big skip. And if I save this, you see we have a bigger distance in between our two paragraphs. Or you could do something like this, vertical sp space. And in squirrely brackets, we are going to provide actual distance. So two centimeters, save this. You see we have distance of two centimeters now. And you could go also with inches. So with IN, save this. And we have two inches. For the purpose of this episode, I'm going to use only one centimeter. It's just fine. Yeah, it's fine. And now, what if you would like uh, to uh, turn piece of text all into capital letters? For that, you could use command text sc and piece of text that you want to turn into capital letters wrap with uh, these squarely brackets. I'm going to save this and you see this part of text, it's all capital. Okay, now this second part of text, I'm going to turn into bold text with text BF and these four words are going to be bold from now on. Okay, you see. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to put this uh, second part of our paragraph into next line. And now you're going to see that this is not going to change anything. Yeah. So with next line in text, uh, LaTeX is just going to consider continuation of this very same paragraph. And uh, this first part of text in second line with command text IT, I'm going to turn into italic text. You see, yeah, it's in here. And if uh, for some reason you want to put uh, squirrely brackets uh, inside of your uh, text, you could do it in this way. Uh, okay, I'm going to put this into next line. So now I'm going to use command text, text brace left. And this second part, command, text, brace, right. Okay, let me show you what we have now. You see, with this command, uh, we have uh, created these uh, two squirrely brackets. With command, uh, text, brace, uh, left, uh, we are going to put this wrapped text uh, right from first squirrely bracket. So right from opening squirrely bracket. And with uh, text brace uh, right, uh, we are going to uh, put ending squirrely uh, bracket before this uh, wrapped word. And there are basically many commands of this sort. If you want to know them all, you would better consider reading documentation. 
I'm going to put this into last line. Uh, now we are going to deal uh, with uh, size of uh, our text. The biggest text you are going to get with uh, command huge. And I'm going to wrap this word purpose. Uh, then second in size, it's large. And I'm going to turn this uh, word uh, episode into normal text. Normal size. Okay, I'm going to save this. You see, purpose of this and uh, episode. All three different in size. And now if you want to uh, turn your uh, text uh, smaller, there is a way. I'm going to use this uh, second paragraph for that. There is command script size. I'm going to use this first part. Now, footnote size. this second part, then tiny, this part of text, and I'm going to save this. And you see, if we uh, don't use uh, our command uh, normal size, like this, the last command, uh, it's going to keep uh, working for the rest of text. And you see, with uh, this command, we turned everything back to normal. Okay, let me show you something else. Uh, now we are going to deal uh, with uh, command uh, for underlying. Underline. Save this. And there are actually a way to use uh, text decoration. Let me show you something. Uh, first command that I'm going to use, it's text Roman. Uh, and by the way, uh, these uh, two uh, backslashes are for new line. Then text tape writing. Tape writing. Another line. And text serif. If I save this, you see, we are going to get a different kind of decorations for our font. Now, let us uh, talk some more about actual font size. There are options for our uh, document class uh, for that. So uh, with document class, I'm going to provide A4 paper that is going to tell uh, LaTeX which uh, kind of paper we are going to use. And I'm going to add another option, and that is 12 point. 12 point, it's actually the biggest uh, font that you could actually use in this way. And if I save this, you see, we are going to get bigger font. And uh, you could go with uh, 12, with 11, you see it's smaller, and with 10. If you want to go with 13, this is going to be reset to a 10. So I'm going to use big font in this way with 12 points. And now the last thing for this document, it's alignment. I'm going to show you how to align your paragraphs in way you like. So now I'm going to write some text in here. Okay, like this. And let's say that I would like to align this paragraph to center. I could do it with command centering. If I save this, you see, our paragraph is aligned in center. I'm going to use this very same text for our next command. And instead of centering, we are going to use, if I save this, this text is going to be aligned on the right. And if you use opposite command, This command is going to align your text to the left. And one more. Save this. 
and there is actually much better way uh, to do something like this I'm going to show you right now command begin center and I'm going to put this text in here we don't need this anymore and hopefully this paragraph is going to be centered as well I'm going to save this and you see this paragraph it's right where it's supposed to be so guys I truly hope that you now understand these uh, basic uh, commands uh, with latex and now you're supposed to be uh, completely capable into writing some text and doing some uh, regular uh, text editing stuff uh, so uh, if you like this content please subscribe and see ya